Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. Enforcement officers, the well-planned, well-executed robbery is one of the most persistent of all forms of crime and one of the most difficult to combat. In June of last year, two masked bandits with clever planning and meticulous attention to detail had succeeded in committing two armed robberies in succession and in each case had evaded the highway patrol's encirclement of the area. The third robbery resulted in the shooting of the proprietor of a check-cashing establishment. Johnson here, Dennis here, Garvey down here. Two more units, we close in the whole area. Three robberies in a row, same M.O. They always hit places that we got ready cash. Eyewitness reports carry the same description. Caps, tennis shoes, jackets, overalls, handkerchief over the face. They differ a little as to height and weight. Suspects are somewhere between 5'6 and 5'9, between 120 and 150 pounds. 150, that puts them on the short side. Any word on the wounded man? No. Matthews. Just got a hospital report on the man who was shot. He was dead on arrival. The guy that was shot just died. It's murder. this place is perfect. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Gives us a good chance to change back to women's clothes before we hit those roadblocks. Anything yet? Not a thing. A couple of farmers I know, school bus, grocery truck, and a high school kid with a hot rod. 2150 to headquarters. Come in, 2150. Any news from the other checkpoints? All report normal traffic flow, nothing unusual. Put more units in the area. Check every parked car and all people on foot. 10-4? 10-4. My goodness, officer, what's going on? Just a routine investigation, miss. We're checking all cars. Oh, you're looking for some criminals then. Did uh, either of you two ladies see a car going at high speed or a car stop anywhere with two men in it? No, we didn't. My, isn't this exciting? Do you mind if we stay around and watch? I'm afraid, I'm afraid you can't stay here, miss. You'll have to move on. Oh, I sure would love to stay around and watch you catch them. How's the guy that was shot? He died. That's a bit they want to stay around and watch.
We really hit the jackpot this time. Looks like almost a thousand dollars. Let me count it, huh? Sure. Be my guest. Boy, I'm beat. I want two units to check these factories at lunch hour. Check all men applying for work. Get me a record of all men who have gone home sick. How about a list of the men that showed up late this morning? That's a good idea. There's only two factories in this roadblock area. That's our best lead. Well, what do you think, Sal? Pretty good morning's work, that's what I think. Nearly 500 apiece. Not bad. Boy, you really have things figured out, Sally. We wouldn't last 10 minutes if I didn't. I, uh, get a big kick going through those roadblocks. Works just like I said it would. They're looking for two men. <laughs> They're gonna go right on looking for two men. You know, it's not just robbery anymore if we're caught. Look, we both knew somebody was gonna get hurt if we kept on. Just happened a little sooner than we expected, that's all. Boy, he dropped like a rock. Now they're going to want us for murder. Don't worry. Did you ever hear of anybody executing a good-looking woman? <laughs> Clean getaway. We had everything locked up tight. Every single person that went through that roadblock checked out. They didn't get through. What did they do? Disappear into thin air? Well, they're still inside. They've got to be. We had everything covered. They probably split up. We checked every guy by himself. What's your idea? Lunch. That waiter. Let's look him over real good. It's got to be right under our nose. Well, at least you and I can alibi each other. We were both right here when the job was pulled. Boy, I sure would like to use some of this money and get some nice clothes. Nothing doing. We stick to under $50 dresses. Let's not attract attention. What are you doing with those? We're going to do another job this afternoon. Another one of those check cashing places. The one near the Morton factory? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Boy, that ought to be a great haul. Look, Peg, I know you're in this for kicks, but do me a favor, huh? Watch the gun this time. Don't be so quick with it. Sure, I'm in it for kicks. But the money's great, too. Don't get sore. We're different, that's all. You're not doing this for the same reason I am. You think that lawyer can get Charlie out? He said it would take money. Well, I'm getting it. One way or another, I'll get him out. I know how you feel. I couldn't stand it if my guy was in the pen. After this one, we take a vacation. A vacation? Why, Sally? Everything's working so great. And you just said you needed the money. I've got enough money for the lawyer. He's going to reopen the case. Maybe even get a new trial. Meanwhile, we take a vacation. We're going so good. Look, that's when you quit, Peg. This is a gamble. So far, we've been winning. Comes a time when you start to lose, and we can't afford to lose. Yes, you're right. Look, we'll lay off for a month or more. Then we can always get back to work. Maybe change the setup a little. The odds will still be in our favor. You ready? Yeah, let's go. We have the eyewitness reports, nothing new. It's got to be somebody right in front of us, somebody we don't suspect. A local merchant, a guy who works at the factory, could be anybody. Either these two guys are awfully smart or awfully lucky. Sure, they're lucky. They knock over a couple of small check-cashing outfits, have the units give them extra coverage. Do you think our two friends will go right back to work? Since when has a criminal ever had enough money? Sure, they're hit again. They feel safe now. I'll dispatch extra units to numbered spots right away. Tell the merchants to get on the phone fast when anything happens. Never mind the license. We know they're driving stolen cars. A couple of minutes saved may give us the time we need to set up those roadblocks. I'll bet they're laughing at how easy it was to get away.
on 2710. I have a call from 2710. He's holding two men, both riding motorcycles. 2710, he's at Meadowbrook intersection. Could be our suspects. Bring them in. 2710, bring in the suspects. 10-4. Highway Patrol. Third and Highway 101. Thanks for calling. They've hit again. They killed a proprietor when he tried to get his gun out. This one. Well, it's not our motorcycle, boys. Release him. All right. 2340 checked that area a few minutes ago. They must have hit just after he went by. Look, we got him in a bind. I think we got it made. That guy thought he had us. That was the last thing he ever thought about. Every once in a while, you run into a hero. Some clown who's got to go for a gun. <laughs> Thinks the money is of more value than he is. He didn't even get a chance to get his gun out of the drawer. Why do they reach for their guns? That's our job. Matthews. Lane. They found a stick-up car. Have Dennis meet me. I want to take a look. Hey, we got to be at work in 15 minutes. Well, we're just going to have to be late for work today, that's all. Driving fast now would be like waving a red flag at that roadblock. They'll stop anything going over 35 miles an hour. We're going through that roadblock, aren't we? Sure. They're still looking for two men, remember?
Hey, come here. Give me a hand. What do you think? Heavy brown lead, sort of greasy. It's a makeup or eyebrow pencil. Do you think the guys could have used this to change your reference? Well, if it was out here, it would be after the holdup. Yeah. How do those descriptions go again? Overalls, sneakers, caps, handkerchief over the face, about five foot six to five foot nine, 120 to 150 pounds. 120 to 150. That could be two women. Two women? Sure. And dressed the way they were, who could tell? Two women. No wonder they got through the roadblock. No matter how smart a criminal is, he always makes at least one mistake. Peggy Banning and Sally Warren had made theirs. A lost eyebrow pencil. Something's wrong. I've just got a feeling. What's going on, officer? We're checking our cars, miss. Would you both step out, please? Would you open the trunk, please? What are you looking for? Headquarters to 2352. Excuse me. Headquarters to 2352. 2352, bye. Do not confine search to two men. Possibly two tall women are involved. Hold all suspects and report direct to headquarters. Well, I have a possibility here. A car with two tall women in it. They know. Somehow they found out. Don't worry. We're going to be out of here in one minute. Get ready, Peg. Could you uh, both get back in the car, please? Hold it right there, cop. Get his gun, Peg, quick. You'll never make it. Want to bet, copper? Twenty-three fifty-two, calling headquarters. Headquarters, bye. Two suspects disarm me. They're heading east on Route Fifty-eight. Twenty-one fifty is due at your ten twenty. I'll have to wait for him here. Ten four. Ten four. Any idea which way they went? No, but you might have passed them. I didn't. Stay here. They might come back. Now they know two women pulled the job. Let's see if they start looking for two men again. We can't be very far behind us. Don't give up, kid. We've got a chance. Maybe even a good chance. But the car, we can't use it. They know it. Look, we'll run down to the road. Stop any car that comes along. Knock over the driver if we have to. They won't be looking for two men in a car. They'll be too busy looking for two women. <laughs>
No, not yet. The place is crawling with cops. We'll never get out this way. We'll have to go up behind the house, behind the hill. Now we've got every roadblock in the area. They've got to be around in here someplace. What's that over there? An old abandoned house. Let's case it. Here comes one. Fool! Come on. We can get in trouble here. All right, spread out. I make it running. We'll shoot it out. No, no. Look, it's, it's real thick in here. Maybe we can make them walk right by us. We'll hide. Come on, cover ourselves up with brush. in your car is you. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week.